Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a um updated what's in my bag as a corrections nurse. Now there's some stuff that isn't in here. Hold on, I gotta close this window. It's blinding y'all. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna do an updated what's in my bag for a corrections nurse. Now this facility is more lax, but it's pretty much universal. Like for the first day, I would not bring nothing that's not in no clear bag, okay? So you gotta catch a feel of the prison. Some places you can't even have no hand sanitizer. Some places you can't even have no fucking grapes. Or this is cut in half, you know what I'm saying? So it just depends. Just put everything in a clear bag and have stuff see through for the first day. Then you can catch a feeling how the facility is. But um, here's my bag, what I got in my bag for the facility I'm at now. So I have my little key card um, to get into the elevators and the doors and stuff. I got some pins. It's gonna be quick, cause I mean, it ain't gonna be no 10 minute video. What's the, what the hell in the bag? I got a little book to read on downtime. I got a couple of masks extra. I always keep keep one on when I go in, but you never know sometimes, you know, it might, might get a little hands. It might break my mask. I might be in a fight. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing. But yeah, I got a extra N95 and a few surgical masks. And if I have a COVID, COVID patient, here's a mask mess. I need to clean this off. I had spilled some stuff in the bottom of my bag. It smell like perfume though, but yeah. This is an um, info mask if I have like COVID, COVID, COVID patients. I got a bottle of water. And then, you, you know, you never know when your little girl gonna come on. Hey, where is I just got some pads. A few tampons. Now you gotta be careful because some facilities you you're not bringing this in. You gotta use what they have in the bathroom. So you, it just depends on the facility. Some facilities you ain't bringing no damn book in. You know what I'm saying? So you, it just depends. If you know you in a facility and you do a broad book in or accident, just keep that book in there because you ain't getting it back in more than times than that. Um, I got some hand wipes, some um, antibacterial wipes. Some places you're not getting this in. It's not see through. Oh, some places you can't nah it depends then i got some hand sanitizer you never know when they might get a little nasty and um i haven't really packed my lunch for tomorrow but tomorrow i'm taking um some watermelon and stuff i'm on a fruit fast my little like, heart be racing <laughs> every time i eat a piece of chicken i had dipped me some um chicken and some pot pie and i had dipped uh, some chicken and some gravy the other day man it was good Heart raced all night. I think I might be allergic to something. It must be something I'm allergic to because it don't happen till I eat some good food. I mean, it ain't good for you. I have been taking my herbs and stuff and everything. So, on that note, I'm good. And then, uh, yep. Yeah. And then I got lip gloss. I'm going to put back in here. I had to take it out for the video. And that's that's about it. You really, really much you can bring into a uh, jail or prison. I am going to buy. Some, um, my own blood pressure cuff and O2 monitor and everything. Some facilities you can bring it in, some you can't. It just depends. So it's it, it's case by case. It depends on the prison what you can and cannot bring. In, so. so don't be don't don't be going to no prison and breaking some hands on the top and getting get embarrassed and trying to get mad at me. Like I said, it's, it's specific. Some places you can have an Apple Watch, some you can't. Some places you can have your phone. You ain't supposed to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody come in and hide a bitch. Some places you can have your phone, some places you can't. It just depends on the prison. But, yeah, that's my video. Um, I was supposed to vlog yesterday. I did not. I don't know what it is, y'all. I like, I keep, I be forgetting. Okay, so yesterday I went to work, and she said I'm off the next day. So, I drove home. It's a whole two-hour plus drive, and I drove home. And I forgot to vlog when I got home and stuff like that. So I just be forgetting. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what else y'all want to see. I think some folks say day in the lives. Um, travel nurse tip, like housing. How to negotiate your pay. Now, one thing I'm going to do is negotiate some money. Like, you got me driving. I have to drive back and forth to go get a fingerprint. No, I'm, I'm need reimbursement. I need travel reimbursement. I need, money. I need to get paid for going there. And I need to get paid coming back once the assignment ends. 
So yeah, I'm gonna talk about that in another video. Now that's one thing I'm gonna do is negotiate. But, bye. <laughs>